With so many ingredients out there, it gets tough to understand that which skincare ingredient does what and which benefits more for a specific skin concern. Hey guys, I'm Sahaj and in today's video, I have come up with all the ABCs of skincare that you should be aware of before entering this world of skincare. Before moving ahead, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon. Now, let's get started. The first ingredient is a vitamin A, which you probably know by retinoids or retinoil. This amazing vitamin helps in increasing the cell turnover of our skin, which helps in smoothing out the skin and also helps with fine line and wrinkles. A fun fact about vitamin A is that when it came out in the market, it was not really meant for treating anti-aging, but it was made to help with acne. And if you've tried any sort of retinoids, you would know that one of the side effects of using a vitamin A is that it can be very drying on the skin. So if you're using it in your daily skincare routine, you have to make sure that you're pairing it with a more moisturizing and hydrating product. Now moving on to vitamin B3 which is otherwise known as niacinamide. So niacinamide is like a MVP for every skin type. It itself is a nutrient that is found in our bodies as well and hence it has a very well researched and documented history for helping in all sorts of facets of skin conditions like dullness, pore size, it also helps in sebum production and the texture of the skin and it works well with sensitive skin as well. And when it comes to talking about how to mix it with which ingredients and everything, you can find that niacinamide can be very easily mixed with most of the ingredients and that's what makes it my favorite. All right, moving on to vitamin C, a very, very popular ingredient. There are a lot of different derivatives of vitamin C and we know a lot of you guys search for it and want to know how to pair it. There's a lot of kind of myths and opinions about how to use vitamin C so that it's super effective on the skin. Well, that depends on product to product as there are a lot of derivatives of a vitamin C. You can find them in serums and moisturizers. So it really depends on that. Plus, if you have sensitive skin, do not forget to patch test before using any of the derivatives. So that is it for today, you guys. If you liked our video and you found it informative, do like it and share it with your friends who want to enter this world of skincare. And I will come back soon with ABCs of other ingredients. Until then, toodles!